what's happening YouTube got a little short vid that I'm gonna uh, a lot of guys have been asking me how do I cut my uh, neck hackle to get the tips and V's what I usually use is uh, the saltwater neck hackle I do buy a lot in bulk uh, especially on the short trues I buy that in bulk if you guys uh, need that many feathers uh, I'll include that but you can get this uh, saltwater neck hackle at uh, several of the places. I may put a couple links uh, down below. There's a couple of places, Barlow's, Crazy Angler Tackle also. But what you do, it comes on a string. And what I'll usually do is just take, pop a few feathers off, however many you plan on cutting up. As like I say, it's always good to uh, use small Tupperware bowls. And while you have time, go ahead and, and uh, cut your feathers up. And that way when you get ready to tie, feathers are all ready to go. And this takes a big chunk of the time to uh, tie here. So if you got these pre-cut, and I just, uh, I've, I've been doing it so long that I know about how, how long I want my tips. Uh, you can put it up against your uh, hook. Uh, I, don't know, I don't have a hook available just right here. But to cut this stuff, I'm not sure if you can, how much of that you can really see. What I'm doing is having my, I got my, my scissors right at close and just go right in and on that stem that's in there. You just want to get right in on that stem and, and clip it. I may have to do a short truce. Do a uh, short truce feather. That may show up a little better. Let me go ahead and get a short truce out. See if that'll show up better. I just got through painting quite a few heads too, so I'm gonna. I got them in a the toast oven baking right now, and uh, I may get a few head, a few jigs tied up, tied up tonight. I'm not real sure yet though, but I may I may tie up a few. So yeah, I can see it a little bit better. And that's probably a inch and a half, maybe, two inches maybe. As like I say, you want your, your scissors right at closed and just part the feather the feathers and all you want to cut is that stem. So I go probably three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch on my V's. There's my timer on the uh, toast oven. But what you end up with, this is what I call a tip. You can see that. So that's the tip. And this makes a, a perfect rat tail jig. The fish love it. It's just about the only tail material I'll use. So that's your V. I may have to go with even a darker color feather. That's your V. That's how they look. And once you, I've showed you on, on how to, how to, to uh, line these up uh, to put them on your jig hook when you get ready to tie it in. Sorry, so I usually go two V's, then the tip, then I'll put another V. And you always want to line it up to where everything looks good before you even uh, put it on the hook. So and that's it. It's like I say, that's your that's your tip. That's what I call a tip. And then you got your V's. And these are your V's, about three quarters of an inch. And uh, you can just stack those on top of each other. But it's like I say, uh, when you get time, uh, you can just. Tie up, let me uh, cut up a bunch of these that when we get ready to tie, it cuts down on a lot of that time. I said I was going to keep this within four or five minutes, so I know I'm probably pushing that right now. Get through with this feather, we're going to close it out, fellas. Because, like I said, I'll put links down at the bottom uh, if, if any of you guys are uh, interested in getting some of this stuff and when it gets long like that I, I usually just I keep those because I'll tie 
I'll tie smaller jigs and use that as a tail material. But on my uh, most of my jigs, I use the I want to use the tip too. And if you it's always bet me you can do cut these the tips a little longer because you can trim them down. But if you cut them too short and eat them longer, it's it's not any good. So. Get right in there on that stem. But there you have it, guys. It's not very hard. And it's like I said, once they get long like that, I'll, I'll keep those feathers because I can use that on a different type of jig than what I want to tie right now. All right, guys. Last one. All right, guys. We'll catch you later. Hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. Any questions, throw down, throw a comment down there at the bottom. If you hadn't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Thank you. Later.